good Thursday morning. Hope you're having a wonderful start to this beautiful day. We are in Exodus 33, and who's your best friend? Who's your confidant? Who's your ace? Who is your one that you go to when you just like, oh my goodness. Well, we know that you have a relationship with the Lord, but you want it to be so that the Lord is your best friend forever, your BFF all the way into eternity. And he promises to do that. Um, in verse 11 of chapter 33, the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. In another version, it says that the Lord would speak to Moses personally as a man speaks to his friend. Don't you want, that's why we'd say it's a personal relationship because we want continual communication with our master, our savior, and we can have that. We can have a lifelong, daily, minute to minute prayer and communing with our Lord, where he is able to show us things and tell us things. And we have sweet, sweet communication and connection and relationship with our Lord. And that's where we could say that he is truly our uh, our all in all, our most, our most prized possession, that relationship. And he turned again into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Even though Joshua is around, but he is no replacement as far as the relationship that the Lord had with Moses continually. You want that friendship. And we get that with praying to the Lord talking right constant communication we talk to our natural friends and our physical friends right weekly daily or whatever at work well god wants that first thing in the morning right he wants us to tell what's in our heart and he knows already but he wants us to go to him so that we can listen for instruction and direction also in the scripture in verse 13 it says now therefore i pray thee if I have found grace in thy sight, Moses is speaking to the Lord, show me that now thy way, show me Lord. And in the youth version, it reads, if you are really pleased with me, Lord, show me your ways so I can know you and so you will continue to be pleased with me. That is our prayer today. Lord, show me. If there is something in my life that is displeasing to you, reveal that to me so that I could correct it. Uh, someone came over last night and we were talking and connecting and um, the person mentioned how, you know, they are on a fast all the, you know, weekly. And, the, and they told me uh, some of the ways that they fast. And I forgot that that was one of the ways that I used to do it. The Lord used that person. The Lord showed me something that I need to implement in this consecration period, right? So the Lord promises to show me so that, why? So that we may find grace in his sight. It's not, you know, a twisting of the arm. We're not fasting and praying so that, you know, the Lord will give us, you know, our Christmas wish list. No, and I'll never forget when my father was in a coma for so long I went without food for almost 12 days and I said this before how I was in a flute lesson and I was getting dizzy and then my flute teacher was like what is wrong with you Michelle and I was like oh you know I'm on a denial I'm fasting no morsel of food because I want my my dad to come out this coma from the anaphylactic reaction from a bee sting and she was like I thought fasting is to hear the communication, the will of God, and not to twist his arm. I was like, oh. Lord showed me through her his will. In the verse 14, and he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. That's ultimately what we want. We want the peace of God in every step of the way. So we want to know him as friend. We want his peace and we want to please him in all our ways. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, having sweet fellowship. Enjoy.